Hey, happy travelers, vacation travel hacks here, talking about port overviews and shore excursion possibilities for the island of St. Vincent in the Grenadines at the town of Kingstown, hopping on a Royal Caribbean ship in the end of the year. And this is one of the stops. And the reason I like to do this exercise because of vacation travel hacks, I like to know what I can do for free before I investigate what I can do with paying for money. Uh, so can I get off the boat and walk through the touristy part of the town or they put me in with all the cargo ships? Uh, is there a beach nearby or do I have to pay for an excursion to take me to a beach or is the taxi reasonable? Let's take a look. Here is Kingstown, zooming in here a little bit. And I, actually, I'm already seeing the, uh, the cruise port come into view. It's a nice little jetty here. So it looks like we're going into town. Uh, I'm looking, uh, Levi's, Lewis's Auto World. Not, that's, uh, doesn't speak touristy. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna buy a car. Here's some taxi tours. It looks like on the, uh, when we walk off the boat, it looks like it's gonna be a nice view, but not necessarily any, you know, I don't know, touristy things. And that, that's okay, that's, 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 it's just good to know. Looks like here's the, the terminal, maybe duty-free stuff is here. Maybe it's maybe it's up here. Looks like I'll walk through it. Uh, we do have taxis, so if I do find something I want to drive to and use my own taxi, I have some options right here. And heck, looks like if I have a hankering for my ice cream off the boat, maybe there's some gift shops right here, and uh, that is possible. So as I walk up here, some fine cuisine. Must be this place. Well, that looks like a parking garage. There's fine cuisine around here maybe the near the Ministry of Tourism. And I have a hunch that perhaps, well, this looks like a ferry terminal. This could either be a, a kind of a complex of shops where you can buy diamonds. Uh, it's possible, but it looks like I am right in the heart of the Kingstown itself. And it doesn't necessarily, although I could get a manicure and a pedicure, that's, that's nice. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm not necessarily going to be with a, a bunch of people in hats uh, and sunglasses and maps. It looks pretty, pretty uh, industrial enough. Uh, not, maybe not industrial, but urban, urban, not necessarily, uh, you know, touristy urban. All right. Well, chilling though. Uh, hey, if you're looking for patches or uh, other medicines, it uh, looks like you have a couple pharmacy options not too far, uh, too far away. And I'll put that right there. So a couple not too far away. Always good to know if you see patches run out. This is, uh, for me, it is day six of a seven-day cruise. Uh, well, okay, well, it'll be the sixth day. And then on the eighth day, we're off. We got St. Martin after this. So anyway, all right, <clears throat> perfect. Oh, we got fish market up here, though. So if it looks like I just keep walking, maybe some ice cream, we end up where we need to be. All right, so we answered that. Is there a beach close by? Certainly not. Certainly not within walking distance. There, there is not a beach nearby. So I've answered that question. Anything to do for free? Not looking super good other than what might be close to the cruise port, uh, which I suspect might be some touristy things right here, duty-free shops, etc. So let's see what Royal Caribbean's offer. And as you uh, may or may not know, Royal Caribbean's pretty good at giving you excursion options, not super ideal giving you reviews on how, how it goes. And yesterday, things were 15% off. Uh, today, they are a little less than that, 10%. So still savings. Uh, nothing. All right. So if you want a beach break, the number one thing to do is Princess Margaret Beach. And the number one, well... The Bakwa Beach Retreat, uh, climb aboard uh, Catamaran, and it takes you over to Bakwa, and is Bakwa on this thing? No, I, I don't see Bakwa on this thing. All right, so well, let's let's continue on our uh, our search here as we move over. Uh, it's 150 bucks per person, so it would have to be spectacular. So I'm going to go and do a quick little Google search here. Uh, St. Vincent Bay Qua. Okay, I spelled it wrong. I -A. All right, so now I know it's over, over here. 
Yeah. And things to do. There's Princess Margaret Beach, Bayqua Tourism. It looks like it looks like that is uh, going to be four five hundred bucks to go to a beach. I don't know. What about Coconut Grove Beach? Now I did do a little search on this. I just can't find where Coconut Grove is, uh, but it looks like you get a tour. I, I'm, I'm I don't know three and a half hours. It will be a quick beach beach break. I, I just don't know if that's for me. So I'll continue doing my search down here. There's land and sea circling. It, it might be just a scenic. Uh, Drive day. I think in Tobago the day before I will be have a beach, so maybe maybe it's just a nice little opportunity to play with birds, you know, or is it just a nature trail? Let's take a look. Fifty two bucks, two hour hike. No, you're probably not playing with birds, but you can get a glimpse of them. Yeah, I don't get to see parrots every day, so that's certainly certainly an option. What about a coastal cruise and swim? So this is about a hundred bucks a person, three hours. I don't know. I, I don't think this is uh, what, what I'm looking for. What about a Caribbean pirate sail away? I do like that. Six hours. All right. So I, I have some options. And then if I go and calibrate this with what uh, is offered over at TripAdvisor, it'll give me some uh, some things to do. Number Number one here. Princess Margaret Beach, the K's. I also like to look at Viator, top 10 things to do. Now, when you look at third-party uh, sites, there's risk and reward. Yes, you can save some money. Yes, you can get more options than what's available on your cruise ship. You get lots of uh, things to do. But if you save that money and not book through the cruise ship and you're late for any reason, <laughs> if you're late for any reason, when you come back, the cruise ship might be gone and they won't wait for you because you didn't book through the cruise ship. So worth noting, can you save a buck? You'll probably get back, but I, I, I don't know if it's ever worth the risk. Uh, but there's other things to do. Uh, it looks like you can hang out at Fort Charlotte. It looks like Fort Charlotte's pretty close. Uh, if I looked at the map correctly when I zoomed in, but I don't think it was close enough to, there it is, Fort Charlotte. It didn't seem like a, uh, that's a pretty hefty walk. That's probably a mile, maybe two miles away. And I, I wouldn't recommend it. As a matter of fact, I didn't necessarily remember seeing that as a an excursion option. So if I, as I go back to my hand, which it seems like it would be a pretty cool uh, and easy to do excursion option. I just, I don't see it there. I taste this thing. Like but sometimes things uh, will be added later. I don't see it sold out. So, all right. Well, we have some options. Uh, Viator gave us some options. I'm, I'm interested in Fort Charlotte. We know that there's a taxi stand right outside the uh, the cruise terminal there. Right here is a couple taxi options. Exotic taxis. Top dog taxis. So, okay. So we have our options. And, uh, you know, we'll do the next video on the next cruise port. So until then, travel safe.